Thank you to the Beit Midrash Zichron Dov and Rabbi Mordechai Torchiner. It's Rosh Kola for the opportunity that I've been given to share some words of Torah as part of this really beautiful Sukkot project of sharing videos with you. I'd like to quote and bring a short of our Torah from Rabbi Zalman Surutskin and his Sefer Oznayim Litorah. Rabbi Surutskin, a former Rosh Hashiva, died in the 1960s, grew up in the Ukraine, ultimately lived in Israel. He was the head of the Moetzel Hagadola, an incredible Tamil Chacham, and he writes beautiful Sfarim, Divrei Torah, on so many topics. So he writes in his Oznayim Litorah in Parshat Emor, on the Pasuk, Laman Yedu Torotech and Kiba Sukkot Hoshavti, Et B'nei Yisrael, he says, speaking specifically about three incredible presents that were given to the Jewish people. He writes, Gimel matanot tovot natan HaKadosh Baruch Hu L'b'nei Yisrael Ka'asher Hotzi Otam Mitzrayim. There were three presents that were given to the Jewish people when they were taken out of Mitzrayim. What were they? Number one, the man. Number two, the be'er. And number three, the anunei ha'kavon. And he asks, why was it that among all three of these, first of all, the Jewish people had to ask for the man, they had to ask for the be'er, the water, but yet they did not ask for the Ananiya Kavod, they were simply given the Ananiya Kavod. And qu- second question he asks, why is it that we create a holiday, a Chag, the holiday of Sukkot, surrounding and centered around this Ananiya Kavod, but yet when it comes to the man, when it comes to the Mayim, there is no Chag, there is no holiday associated with it. So Rabbi Saratskin answers in a very beautiful way. First of all, he says it's important to recognize that the Ananiya Kavod was special and unique above and beyond the Man and above and beyond the Mayim. And I'll give a mashal. This is my mashal. I heard it from somebody else who used it once. But my mashal to help understand why it is that the Ananiya Kavod was incredibly special. Consider for a moment a married couple goes to a marriage therapist and they want to work on their relationship. The wife sits, turns to the therapist and the therapist says to her, what's the problem? And she says, well, the issue is my husband simply doesn't love me enough. And the husband is incredibly difficult time understanding this. He listens. He says, what are you talking about? How could you say I don't love you enough? How could you say I don't demonstrate enough love? I give you everything. I buy you everything. I take care of you. Uh, lists a million things that he does. And she says, yes, but those are all very basic needs. You don't go above and beyond to demonstrate and show your love. So what Rabbi Sarotskin writes is, he says the same thing is true. The man, the mayim, these were basic needs that the Jewish people had. How could a Kurdish Baruch Hu take them to the Midbar, take them out of Mitzrayim and not provide food for them, not provide water for them? It would have been incredibly insensitive for him, unbelievably difficult for him to have expected them to live in a desert without food, without Mayim, without water. But he did not need to provide them with the Ananei HaKavod. That was special. That was unique. That was something that was above and beyond. That, says Rabbi Sarotskin, demonstrates and shows the true love that the Jewish people were given by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu protected them from everything. And he says, similarly, God wanted them to David, God wanted them to pray for the man and for the Mayan, because HaKadosh Baruch Hu's mit'avet, filatan shal tzadikim, he wanted to demonstrate to them the power of prayer. But ultimately, the Ananiya Kavod, that was something they never even would have prayed for. It would have been difficult to even imagine such a concept. But at the same time, he wanted to show his love. He wanted to show how special they were. He wanted to show that he was going to protect them from everything. And in many ways, that's why the holiday of Sukkot is so unique and so special. Because the Ananiya Kavod, or the Sukkot Mamash, depending on which opinion in the Gemara we follow, they were meant to show the Jewish people that Akash Baruch Hu was always there for them then, we sit in the Sukkot to remember that Akash Baruch was always there for us as well. Incredible love that he showed to the Jewish people back in uh, the Midbar when they left Mitzrayim is mimicked today and is repeated today in the love that Akash Baruch Hu demonstrates for us, for the Jewish people as well. It's an incredible thought to think about as we get ready for the holiday of Sukkot. It's important to remember that we have to be happy. We have to be Samech B'chalko in everything that Akash Baruch Hu gives us, recognize all of our blessings, and please God, this Yantif should be filled with mazel, bracha, simcha, and shalom all around for all of Klal Yisrael. Chag kosher v'sameach, and thank you very much.